All right, Lucy Jane and I are going to do some gesture drawings. She is volunteering to be my model and I will be the drawer or artist. I need a piece of paper. I need something to draw with and I have my model so I'm ready to go. Lucy Jane, could you please pose like the Statue of Liberty? I like how she's nice and frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two shapes. I'm going to use ovals and maybe circles, but mostly just ovals and lines to show what is happening with Lucy Jane's body in this pose. So I'm making a lot of a lot of lines, like I said. I'm it's kind of like I'm drawing her skeleton almost. <laughs> I'm not worried about what she's wearing. I am just quickly drawing what I see. Uh, Lucy Jane, mm -hmm. pretend like you are a monkey, but be frozen. Excellent. So once again, I'm not worried about <laughs> anything besides the really big information, which direction things are moving, not worried about clothing I'm just worried about the big stuff the lines that I see as she stands all right Lucy Jane now take a position like you are running can you turn though and look like you're running towards the door all right this is a little bit more complicated I'm gonna do it I think on the other side of the paper. Got lots of dots on it, but I'm okay with that. Gesture drawing is really about practice. Find an even more way to be balanced. Awesome. And here we go. I see head pointed this way. This is tricky because I just see her shoulder and then it comes down and goes back up and there's her hand. I see the other arm coming out and then going down. I see her body come like this hips and then the leg in front comes almost straight down which should be a little longer I can make changes even though it's a marker and then this one goes forward and then back there we go that is a gesture drawing it's a way to capture a person who's in an active pose so this tells us a lot about the sitter whether she be silly like a monkey, or statuesque, like the Statue of Liberty, or I don't know, what, what does it mean if you're running out of the art room? <laughs> it means something. I'm capturing action, though, with simple lines and shapes.